abroad. Uh, I'm now a teacher at the Vegetarian Society of Cookery School, where I train some chefs uh, and uh, let's see uh, foodies. Uh, also author of uh, a cookbook, Vegan's Dessert, better than uh, a fruit uh, salad. My aim is uh, to uh, convince uh, people uh, vegan desserts are easy to make me and look fantastic. So you have a place of honor for the uh, English dessert, a modern twist, no, also okay. a continental dessert, a sea dessert, a Easter, a Christmas, um, and most importantly, you have uh, a basics uh, section uh, talking and explaining about uh, the uh, sponges, pastries, uh, you know, which is uh, unfortunately quite often uh, neglected in uh, vegan uh, uh, literature. So, I'm going to present you uh, uh, today how uh, to uh, use uh, plants, herbs and uh, flowers in uh, vegan, uh, in vegan pastry. I uh, will show you how to use uh, some uh, surprising, amazing combination of the herbal things. So I have here, for instance, uh, this uh, apple and elder flower. You have uh, nettle and black uh, nettle and uh, black currant. You have uh, cardamom yes. and uh, violet. Uh, very, very amazing and very tasty. Secondly, uh, I would like to uh, talk about uh, flowers that we uh, use, uh, let's say, in a surprising way as well. For instance, uh, this uh, poppy, we all know about uh, poppy seed, but we maybe don't know about uh, poppy flower. This is uh, a single made uh, from uh, the poppy flower. It is absolutely delicious and a wonderful fragrance. Uh, I'm very sorry we were not allowed for sanitary reasons to uh, uh, present uh, some um, uh, samples, but trust me, it's really, really, really uh, delicious. <laughs> uh, finally, I would like to talk uh, about some uh, forgotten plants in uh, pastry, for instance, uh, angelique. Angelique was uh, very uh, popular and used uh, uh, during the Victorian uh, period. Uh, then uh, it uh, disappeared. Uh, why? I think one of the reasons may be uh, the, the workforce. We don't really have time now to uh, uh, spend a, a whole day uh, to uh, decorate uh, a cake. Angelique was mostly used uh, for decoration. Uh, I'll show you. This was the kind of uh, cakes uh, they made uh, before. So the green is the uh, <coughs> angelic decoration, you see. Uh, a second reason is uh, pastry uh, became uh, uh, more and more uh, popular, so uh, increasing the production. So maybe uh, simplify uh, the uh, presentation. So what about this uh, angelic? This is, um, um, I have some, I grow some of in my garden. Uh, this is uh, a very majestic, uh, a large, uh, a hollow uh, stems mm -hmm. that uh, comes back uh, every year. Uh, I show you uh, uh, the leaves uh, here. I dry them uh, from my garden. Mm -hmm. And then we use uh, these uh, stems in uh, pastry. We cut and uh, we soak and let them marinate in syrup, like this. So sugar syrup, so you can keep this uh, for uh, a long, long, long time. And as uh, we uh, uh, before uh, used for decoration, I would like to uh, give uh, the Angelique uh, a place of honor again and I'm going to use it in pastry and I'm going to make uh, an uh, Angelique uh, uh, panna cotta uh, with, uh, uh, with this. Uh, now, uh, somebody is going to pass uh, around. If you are interested in a vegan pastry, if you want to learn more about uh, a vegan dessert, please uh, feel free to leave um, uh, your email address. And uh, also, if you are interested, uh, you are very welcome to join my uh, course in this lab about uh, vegan Christmas desserts. This will happen in, uh, in December. So, 
let's start. Ah, I have a little surprise to say. Uh, at the end of the session, I will be very pleased uh, to choose uh, somebody uh, randomly from uh, this list and offer a free copy of uh, my book. So, uh, Angelique Panacotta. I call it here with a little mm -hmm. bit uh, of uh, turmeric and uh, matcha powder. Uh, so I have here a mix of uh, milk alternative and uh, plant-based uh, cream. So we now have uh, many choices in uh, the supermarkets. You have uh, rice and you have, um, I'm looking for uh, something. Yeah, voila. You have rice, uh, milk, uh, you have uh, almond milk, uh, oat milk, but oat milk is not uh, a gluten free. Uh, so um, I use uh, coconut milk because uh, it's quite light and neutral taste. So I'm going to take this off. I marinated them uh, uh, overnight to get uh, the flavor. The basics for all these recipes is always to marinate the teas, the flowers, the herbs, the plants overnight, and then you have the eventually you reduce if you want a stronger flavor. Voila. So I have here coconut milk. I have here plant-based uh, cream. We now have uh, this uh, elmea, which is quite good. I show you plant-based uh, double cream. You can whip it. Uh, you can find it all the supermarkets as well now. So I'm gonna bring this to the boy with uh, some sugar. A panna cotta recipe is really, really uh, uh, easy. Uh, I'm gonna ask my dear Faye uh, to start uh, this machine. <laughs> voilà. So I have here, I'm gonna make a small quantity, right? Not quick. So, I have here the milk, the plant based milk, um, a little bit of uh, coloring, a little bit of uh, sugar, and I'm going to have to add a thickener. And the vegan thickener, uh, probably you heard uh, about it, uh, that replaces the gelatin, is uh, the Eger Eger. Um, it is um, presented in the supermarket like this, quite av available quite easily, for sure, uh, in a waitrose. I took uh, a little bigger quantity, if you don't mind. <coughs> and Eger Eger is uh, a seaweed. Oh, this is very quick, magnifique. A seaweed. Two uh, things you have to know about Eger powder is that it has uh, to be dissolved in a liquid, you cannot just uh, sprinkle uh, over uh, your cream, and it has to be brought to uh, uh, the boil. So I'm going to do this, take a smaller whisk, voila. Very, very easy. And I was thinking of uh, some uh, a green dessert, what could we uh, uh, prepare? So I came up with the idea of a, a little uh, uh, Christmas tree. I'll show you. I'm just gonna pour this uh, anacotta in my uh, mold. Voilà. It's boiling, I hope you see. Voilà. My molds are uh, here. Right. You can find these molds uh, easily and very cheap uh, uh, online or in uh, uh, shops like uh, Lakeland or... Uh -huh. Just gonna pour. I hope uh, you see. Okay. And I'm just gonna let it set. So you can keep this in the freezer, in the freezer meaning that this is a dessert you can make in advance because you can keep um, your um, 
your, uh, your creams most of the time in the freezes, which is uh, very uh, helpful. So, because we are uh, in a flower show, Sorry. I was thinking of uh, presenting uh, all these creams uh, in little uh, flower pots, uh, like these ones. So this is uh, a red velvet uh, vegan uh, club cake. Uh, very simple, I follow a classical recipe. My only issue, of course, is the eggs and how do you replace, replace eggs in most of uh, vegan sponges. You just uh, replace by milk alternative and the uh, rapeseed oil. It's a little bit liquid, meaning that you just have to leave five more minutes uh, in the oven and that's it. And of course, when it's baked, you have to cool down, put in the freezer so it's easier to uh, unload. And this is your vegan uh, uh, red velvet uh, cupcake. Easy. So, let's pretend uh, we are uh, a couple of hours uh, later. This has set. Abracadabra. <laughs> and, uh, Oh, sorry. I have here my uh, little uh, angelique panacotta tree. I put some uh, marzipan decoration, and marzipan is really, really our best uh, uh, vegan friend for decoration. It's just uh, almond uh, sugar, a little bit of uh, lemon juice, uh, and uh, and that, that's it. So this is uh, my first uh, my first cake. Uh, the second one uh, is uh, the poppy seed, uh, the poppy, pardon, I'm used to the poppy seed, you see, is uh, the poppy uh, syrup. So I'm going to make uh, a creme uh, muesli. And uh, what is a muesli? It's just uh, a custard, a vegan custard, of course, that we're going to lighten and give a kind of a velvety uh, and uh, smooth uh, consistency by uh, adding uh, some. Uh, vegan butter alternative, let's say, what we call a vegan, uh, vegan brick. Mm -hmm. uh, this you can find also uh, in uh, all uh, supermarkets. Vegan block, you have uh, naturally, you have uh, Via Life. I always recommend the hard uh, uh, bricks because uh, it gives a firmer consistency to your uh, pastries, uh, the creams uh, and uh, so on. So, I'm gonna make my uh, poppy cream. So I have here 30, I have 30 milliliters of uh, my uh, poppy uh, syrup. So this one, I have uh, 100 milliliters of uh, milk uh, alternative. And uh, I'm gonna bring this, uh, maybe a freaking uh, Give us a hand with this. It's always wonderful to have a nice assistance. Uh, uh, so we have here the milk and uh, the poppy syrup. Uh, quick. And then I'm just going to keep a little bit to mix with my dry ingredients, which are here. I'm just following a grandpatic custard, a normal recipe, meaning uh, sugar. You can, I recommend a uh, refined uh, golden castle sugar if you want. You can also uh, use uh, a coconut uh, sugar, but more expensive. I have some uh, uh, corn flour uh, for the, uh, to thicken uh, the, the custard. And same question, how do I replace uh, the uh, egg yolks? I use uh, cashew butter. One egg yolk is uh, about uh, one teaspoon of uh, uh, cashew butter. So I'm just gonna mix these elements together. Huh? I so. I put a little bit, little, little, little bit of uh, beetroot powder to give some color because I'm the color is going to become lighter with uh, the vegan block. Voila. It's boiling, so what do I do now? I bring my liquid boiling into my bowl, 
stir all together and then I bring back the hot medium heat and I just gonna whisk stir until it thickens and the <coughs> bubbles. Gonna let it uh, cool down. And when it's cooled down, I'm gonna add some of this uh, vegan uh, drink. If you have any questions, please uh, feel free to interrupt me. So, see, it's getting uh, thick very quickly. If you still have uh, a little bit of this cashew butter remaining, you can also give uh, a quick stir of um, a blender, but I think I'm fine. So you see, it's getting thick, it bubbles. The color became very light. And so I'm going to let this cool down. When it's cooled down, I add a little bit of this uh, vegan brick. Just to show you, because I prepared some uh, ready in advance for you. So when it's cooled down, you just mix the vegan bleach with uh, the cream, and this is what we call uh, a muesli. Very easy. You can keep in your freezer as well. Voila, and I prepared some cream already set you see it's quite a rich consistency shiny this is because of uh, the vegan brick voilà. I'm gonna leave this on the side and I'm gonna concentrate uh, on my cream which is ready here and I'm gonna decorate I'm going to try to I'm going to put this uh, away. <laughs> voilà. So. So, I don't disturb anymore. So, let's say I have uh, an, my little uh, cake. So. Wiping up, one, up, up, like a, like a little flower, around, I'll just go all around. And then because pastry is all about uh, decoration, um, I prepared here uh, some uh, uh, sugar, <laughs> poppy flour. I did my best. Okay. Voila, one. So, again, inspired by the classical uh, pastry, uh, this is uh, just a mix of icing sugar and uh, vegan egg white substitute, which we call uh, uh, aquafaba. Mm -hmm. But it's exactly the same way as the, the traditional uh, pastry. Uh, and uh, we can also add some uh, little bees. Mm -hmm. Interested in my tea or flowers? 
You know, despite of our climate uh, terrible issues with vegan pastry, and you can uh, dream about uh, these, uh, you know, uh, happy, uh, no fear from uh, extinction. Uh, and on the top, why not? A little uh, butterfly. This one. Uh, so, this is uh, my uh, poppy uh, cupcake. Voila. Let me put my things away. And the last one will be uh, the lavender. So, for the lavender here, what I'm going to do, same story, I have it here. So, I have here uh, my uh, uh, milk with uh, lavender uh, soaked uh, uh, and marinated uh, overnight. So, this is uh, again a coconut milk. I'm going to make a custard. It's the same recipe, the same way to go, but instead of putting a, a vegan brick, uh, I'm going to add and mix with uh, some uh, uh, whipped, uh, whipped cream. Uh, this one I was uh, showing you. And this is going to make a very, very uh, fluffy uh, and light, uh, light uh, cream. I'm going to make uh, a little bit of noise. I'm sorry. So I prepared already uh, a cream that has uh, come down uh, for you because we saw how to make uh, a custard. I hope uh, this is uh, okay. So I just have here a little bit of this uh, cream. I'm just gonna whisk. A little bit of this uh, cream. I have here uh, my electric hand. You know when we were uh, apprentice, if the chef was uh, in a bad mood, he was asking you to do this by hand. Same with the egg whites. But nowadays I don't think uh, this happens anymore. Voila. I can stop when it's uh, uh, sunny whipped. So, a little bit of uh, my uh, cream. So this is my lavender. I don't have much color because uh, the lavender when it infuses uh, doesn't really give uh, a stronger color. But, I think with the decoration it will be. Voilà. Voilà. I'm going to try to keep it a little bit uh, runny to fill uh, my uh, mold. Voilà. And I'm going to use uh, these molds because I really like uh, them uh, quite uh, elegant. They call it uh, Russian tail. Voilà. Let's say. Uh, three quarters, again, let it set in the freezer, meaning you can make in advance, voila, one, two, I'm going to tap 
them to make sure that I don't have any air bubbles. Voilà. And that is it. So, abracadabra. Let me put all this away. This as well. And so, this is uh, my uh, lavender diplomat. So, a custard with uh, a whipped cream uh, is called uh, diplomat, increased by a classical uh, uh, pastry as well. So, I decorate it with uh, some uh, pieces of uh, fresh uh, uh, lavender. So, I also prepared some cakes for you because I wanted uh, to show you that uh, a vegan desserts uh, can uh, definitely uh, have a, a fine dining uh, a touch. Mm -hmm. So I have here um, a fennel because we can also make uh, desserts with uh, vegetables. This is a fennel cream, uh, orange and muslin, you know now, hazelnut sponge. These are little orange uh, caviar pearls, uh, very easy to make. Of my little butterfly, a little bit of meringue. Uh, uh, this one is uh, my uh, poppy macaroon. So this is uh, the cream uh, I prepared uh, in front of you. This one is my uh, revisited uh, blue tart. So this is a sablé uh, pastry, uh, vegan of course. This is uh, a panna cotta I made uh, with uh, one of these teas. I used uh, the apple and the elderflower. And on the top, I made uh, a little jelly with a rosé wine, uh, elderflower jelly, and uh, some um, fresh, uh, fresh fruits, uh, apricot, uh, uh, blueberry, and, uh, and grapes. Mm -hmm. And of course, to obtain a jelly, some uh, egg powder. Mm -hmm. And the last one is my uh, little um, uh, lavender uh, diplomat uh, with uh, my uh, lemon meringue. Uh, what we, this is uh, what I call uh, a beehive uh, dessert. Well, if you have any questions, please. Let's give Danielle a round of applause first of all. That's fantastic. So these recipes first of all, are they in the book, Danielle? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. yeah. Oh. These recipes are in the book. Uh, I'm working on uh, a second uh, cookbook with, uh, let's say, really a more elaborate. Now I want to do uh, to one step further, let's say, uh, in uh, fine dining with uh, this, uh, this side. If you have any questions, please. Any questions Feel at all? Free. Anyone? No? Oh, one question, will <laughs> combined with uh, the milk uh, alternative uh, and it really depends on the sponge but in the book uh, you have a precise uh, a measure for uh, each uh, recipe for a sponge for a brownie uh, for uh, uh, a, cup, uh, a red velvet uh, it is not the uh, same as one egg yolk or one teaspoon mm -hmm. uh, it depends on the recipe but as I said, it will be a little bit more liquid, no problem, and five more minutes in the oven, no problem. Can you get answer the question at all? Yeah. No, you've been very comprehensive, I think, you, Daniel. So, your books are available at our book signing table here. If you want a dedication, I'm sure Daniel will be more than happy to... Let's maybe offer uh, a copy of uh, the book, as I promised. Yes. I don't know where the list is. Where is the list? The list is coming. Let me find the list. Ah, the list has disappeared. Ah, uh, oh, here we go. Just here. Oh, you want to select one at random? Okay, so I have this. Oh, uh, Terry George, congratulations, Terry. Well done. Ta -da. Ta -da. There we go. So, uh, 
so you that. a signed copy as well? My pleasure. Well, so if you want to have a look at the book, uh, please uh, feel free. Well, whilst Harry gets his, uh, his free copy, as I say, Amber's going to be at the table here. If you'd like a copy of it, have a look at it or ask a question away from the mic. And come oh, on so over. this is very good. And Did let's give it a round of applause one more time. Thank you.